Welcome back. This is our last tutorial for this art piece. My tree casts a shadow underneath on the ground where the rocks are and the green grass. I am adding a transparent layer of dark green and purple to create the illusion of the cast shadow. I decided to work out more details in my wall here, which is filled with rocks. I will do the same thing on this side of the wall. Our next step will be to add flowers all over the green grass in the front and in the back. Make sure your flowers in the front are larger and towards the horizon line they become smaller. The colors for my flowers that I choose reflect all the colors that are already used in my painting. It gives the painting a more harmonious look. I am painting more shadows on the ground to create the illusion of depth. I use the same technique as before, mix some purple with green or some purple with brown on top of the rocks diluted with a lot of water so it looks transparent. You still want to see the texture that lies underneath my shadow. I'm also going to add some diluted dark purple on top of my little waterfall here. This part, just like the wall, also lies in the shadows. Here I'm also adding a shadow on top of this side of the wall. It's time to really get into detail work. I am adding tiny little bits of drop shadows underneath each flower or flower spots underneath each rock to create the illusion of depth again. got the spot of the top little waterfall that also lies in the shades so I'm adding another transparent shadowy layer on top of that. I'm going to use a really thin brush with a very thin tip to just add a few grass strokes here. I will add these grass blades everywhere now. I would 
would like to give my forest in the background a little bit more depth and maybe even add some pointy needle trees in the distance. Last but not least, I'm using my gel pens to add a few more flowers, a few more highlights or emphasize some highlights in my painting. <music> 